The theme for this session is all about letting go of self-sabotage. There are different levels of self-sabotage. Sometimes it's very obvious and clear, and at other times it's very hidden. Self-sabotage is simply the mind's way of keeping itself protected by remaining in a specific routine that feels comfortable for it. A big part of letting go of this self-sabotage happens when we are fully willing to develop our receiving skill. The first component why people self-sabotage is a fear of being seen, a fear of being heard and recognized. The second component is fear of what people might think or say. The third component is fear of not being ready, fear of not being good enough, thinking that it's not perfect yet. When we step out of that for a moment and just observe, we realize that we are the instruments of the universe. We are divine instruments of the universe to share your gift of being a healer or an artist or a teacher or an architect, whatever that may be. That is the universal gift that is coming through you. You are channeling it by us self-sabotaging, by us holding back. We are dishonoring the universe from expanding into itself. We are dishonoring the universe from sharing itself through us as us. Four is the fear of success. A lot of times this stems from childhood. There's this fear of succeeding now because in the past we may have not in our mind succeeded. With all of that said, do I have your permission to connect with your energy? If so, just say yes out loud and give me one moment. So let's begin with the fear of being seen, heard, and recognized. It's a big part of self-sabotage. So can we have the divine I am presence within each of us? Give us the highest wisdom, knowledge, understanding of what being seen, heard, and recognized really is, what it really means instead of what the mind may have thought it was. Can we go ahead and do that now? For all the times, all the dimensions, languages, lifetimes where you may have felt fear around being seen, heard, or recognized for any reason, or any time you were made to feel like you could not be seen, heard, or recognized, or when you wanted to be seen, heard, and recognized, and it just wasn't happening, can we have the I Am presence within you show you all the lessons, the gifts, the teachings, the blessings you were meant to learn from all those timelines now? If you want that, say yes. Can we extend this understanding, these teachings to your ancestors on all levels, lifetimes, and languages as well? Can we ask that the mind comfortably retain, understand, apply, digest these teachings, gifts, understandings, so that you no longer recreate those patterns of not being seen or having fears around being seen, heard, or recognized? For any armor, trauma, anxiety, stress, shock that you're holding on to physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, or any other way that has to do with not being seen, heard, or recognized, or the fear of being seen, heard, or recognized, can we remove all of that armor now from its first point of conception, then show you who you are, how to function, how to thrive, how to operate, how to be without it? Any resentments, rejections that you may have felt, regrets, guilt, shame that you're holding on to for any reason that is continuing this fear of being seen, heard, and recognized, can we ask the I Am Presence within you to light all those energies up, clear them, release them, resolve them once and for all, and then show you who you are without those energies of the resentments, rejections, etc.? Can we ask that it become a default setting, a natural second nature, where if you find yourself in resentments, rejections, regrets, guilt, shame, that you immediately move out of it without judging yourself.
for any other fears, resistance, vows, obligations, oaths, alliances, contracts that you've made with yourself and others, preventing you from being seen, heard, and recognized, or allowing yourself to fully be seen, heard, and recognized. Can we go ahead and clear all of those blocks, patterns, resistance, vows, obligations, oaths, contracts, alliances from their first point of conception and any responsibilities to continue those energies from being passed down from your ancestors? Can we clear that as well? And can we extend this healing to your ancestors so that they too can be willing to let go of those energies? Can we have the I am presence, the universal intelligence source energy within you show you how to and why to be seen, heard and recognized in the highest and best way for you, knowing that it's safe, knowing that it's okay, that it's your birthright. This is your allowing the universe within you to experience itself. Would you like to know that and receive it and know how to apply it? Can we have the I am presence within each of us? Show us how to make peace with all those times where we felt we could not allow ourselves to be seen, heard, or recognized. Also make peace with all the people, places, situations, the past, the present, fully for all those times that we were unable to do that. Can we show us how to do that now, once and for all? If you want that, say yes. Can we show our conscious and subconscious mind that we were simply doing the best that we could with what we knew how at the time? So there's no need to judge. We can let go with ease and grace now. If you want that, say yes. Can we download you with what it feels like, looks like, tastes like, smells like, sounds like to be comfortable or at least be willing to feel comfortable being seen, heard, and recognized? Can we go ahead and do that now? Can we have the I am presence within you show you what your gifts, your talents, your message, your abilities, what they are. Can we show you what they are? They are extensions of the universe. When you're feeling in alignment with them, they are an extension of the universe. You're allowing the universe to expand, to experience more of itself. Can we show you who you are, how to function, how to thrive, how to operate without having to be playing that role that always has to control, that always has to resist the divine I am within you? Can we have the I am presence within each of us show us how to feel more comfortable, more anchored, more grounded, safe? and present in the energy of allowing our gifts, our talents, our abilities, our message to be seen, heard, and recognized fully for the divinity that they are. And can we download us with what it feels like to be seen, heard, and recognized and allow our gifts to be seen, heard, and recognized in the highest and best way for each of us. And if we feel like we are not being seen, heard, and recognized for any reason, that we lovingly give that ability to see, hear, and recognize to ourselves, knowing that when we do that, we allow the world to mirror that back to us. So can we show you how to do that?
any beliefs that it's selfish or narcissistic to see yourself, hear yourself, recognize who you really are. Can we show you the truth of that? Let go of those boundaries and layers that have blocked you all these years and shift it so that you realize by seeing yourself, by hearing yourself, by recognizing yourself, not only are you going to be able to do that for others, you're honoring the great divine presence within you. So we're going to move on to the fear of what people think. Some of us think that we don't have that anymore, but on some level, if we're still holding back in some way, whether it's writing a book, being a speaker, speaking our truth, connecting with a relationship, whatever it may be, something is holding us back from doing any of these things. So for any time, any place, any language, any dimension where we may have feared what people thought of us or what people said about us, can we show us all the lessons we were meant to learn from all of those timelines if you want that, say yes. And these energies are just other words for fear, but let's register them to the mind. Any stress, any worry that you may have had of what people thought of you or what they were saying about you, can we go ahead and show you all the lessons that you were meant to learn from all those timelines? For any time we were traumatized from those experiences, whether we realized it or not, can we go ahead and heal, clear, and release all of those timelines, past, present, future, not forgetting them, but no longer allowing them to define us? So what happens is we desperately seek approval. Oh, I need to be liked. I need to be loved. I need to have this energy of caring of what people think about me. Can we go ahead and show you who you are without those patterns? Show the mind how to function, thrive, operate without those patterns and clear those patterns once and for all from their first point of conception. If you want that, say yes. Can we show the mind how to be without that pattern of the fear of what people think and say about you or without that pattern of needing outside approval? Can we have the I am presence within you show you what to do instead of worrying and the fear around what people think and say about you that will actually serve you to expand you into your highest self. If you find yourself worrying or fearing what people think or say about you, can we show you how to quickly move out of it, recognize that it has nothing to do with you, and move out of it without judging yourself? Can we show you how to do that naturally without even consciously having to think about it? So there's this need to know it comes from the curiosity. So can we show each of us how to use the energy of being curious in a way that actually serves us for our highest good rather than being destructive? Any of those patterns where we self-destructed, self-sabotaged because of the curiosity, can we go ahead and heal that and show us how to use this curiosity through asking empowered questions that will get us back into alignment with our highest self? If you want that, say yes. Can we show us the difference between empowered questions and disempowering questions? Can we show you how to give yourself approval? Can we show you how to be mindful of what you really want and following through on that?
Are you ready to hang up those shoes now and just fully give yourself permission to do what makes your heart sing, to follow through, not hold yourself back anymore? If you want that, say yes. Let's go ahead and raise our physical, emotional, spiritual, and mental vibrations to their highest and greatest so we can easily feel, witness, recognize, be open to all the miracles, blessings, shifts, healings that we were meant to receive in the highest and best way or something greater. And so it is. Until next time, have a miraculous day. I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Hey, my friend, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a miraculous day.